Therefore, going um, to the airport, uh, it was like a wedding, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> my sister came, she came with my nephews, my auntie came. Actually, the day before my mom told me, call you and all your aunties and uncles, really? told them that you're going to the US. <laughs> we don't want anyone saying they no. did. No. <laughs> I no, called no, no, no. auntie, auntie, this one. classes at KIU, right? Yeah, yeah. How different were the classes in your partial university experience? Partial Uganda. <laughs> your partial Ugandan university experience. How different were the classes uh, when you go to China? Ah, uh, well, it's uh, what's a world apart. Yeah, it's different Completely. things. Yeah, because when I was at KIU, it's you know those movement, there's some schools, <laughs> you know, things you flip locals. or pay. Not locals, you know those self it was no first of all, okay, it is everyone. Um, it's that business of you're like 400 in a class. Whereas now I was going, it's limited numbers. Yeah. You're, yeah. In, a, you're in a class like only 30, 40 people. Mm. So, and also the infrastructure is, you know, portion kind of thing, kind of thing like that. So, yes, and also here lecturers don't chop. There is no it rained, so I won't be coming. <laughs> Where Lect- China? Yeah, lecturers are yeah. always on time. It's they cool. never miss. Come what may. They'll oh always God. be there. As There's no strikes. The <laughs> when it rains, you don't even rush to wake up. First, stay in bed. I always see people oh, with <laughs> of an email they sent to the lecture. <laughs> I couldn't come today. I mean, also in the US, you can do that. Eh? But mm-hmm. like, ultimately, the person who gets affected is you. Oh, I don't know if in Uganda it's like, mm. is it like um, only the final grades matter? or No, no, no. no. We do have. A, this is for Shamboko. We do have, okay, for engineering, there are class assessments that mm-hmm. the random tests they give, the assignments, then the actual tests meet the semester, mm-hmm. then there is practical. So your final marks out of 100, 60% is your final exam, mm-hmm. then I think 20% is test. Okay, it depends on the course unit, so yeah, so there is test marks, then or and assignments, then also practical. Yeah, you get so you, we always you have to try to maximize on the test the practical but yeah, but then you, right, you, yeah, right, you reach up like your 40 percent or 35 and now you just need more to top up to catch up but yeah how about points for attendance well <laughs> we have points for attendance in the US. like seriously yeah no, like it's, the way it's done attendance has actually it, more it can because there's some course you need to do and yeah. attendance is 20 percent yeah so like, like actual like marks to, yeah, to the final grade yeah because because i think what we have is some lectures not all mm-hmm. have okay basically the school rules are that you have to attend 75 percent of the classes mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah so if you find a lecturer that's <coughs> yeah, sorry enforcing that They'll be like, you, I have not seen you the whole semester. Why are you sitting my test? Get out. Wait, just him picking you out like that? Like yes, like you have not seen oh, like it's, Yeah, it really no, like, depends. There are very few that actually, you know, take note. have... Okay, we do sign, pal, pal, whatever. But, you know, you come to do the test and so everyone just comes and sits. And then you're like, oh, we have this person. Oh, I had, you know, we had this person in our See, class. See, in the US, how it's done. <laughs> like, mm. most... If a class, if... Um, okay, so this is mostly for, like classes that are actually for your major mm. so because you have to take social science classes so you'll take like psychology okay there can be like a bunch of social science electives you pick from mm-hmm. so for you to graduate you need that requirement <laughs> so most people pick the easiest eh? so mm. like me i did psychology um and then i did french mm. i think french is the humanities part mm. but okay so the first those classes that are not you're not a psychology major they are not going to take that thing they most probably won't but like when we say now like me and Kim continuing, I have to take organic chemistry. Yeah. So how she takes attendance is in class during the lecture she'll be talking about something like, okay, so if this and this has this number of electrons, um it fills up to what shell. So there'll be like a they're called clicker questions. So there's an app yeah. called the turning point app. <laughs> so it'll okay. give you like an ID. <laughs> Yeah. You're signing with your school ID, and then you're signing with your school ID, and then that particular class session has its own ID. So yeah. you um, start, enter the app, sign to the app, and then use the class ID. And then on the projector, when she's like, so this um, element has this number of electrons, what's the answer? A, B, C, D. So you answering that shows that you were in class. Yes. So oh, it, can, yeah. it can be like, if you get yeah. the answer correct, let's say the answer was A, and you clicked A, you get three points. 
If you picked the wrong answer, you get two points. If you, you didn't answer, you didn't answer <laughs> you didn't that means you are in class, so yeah. zero points. So some people, what they do, eh, if you know you're not going to class, go to class, ask someone who's going to class to get you the ID number. So that at that oh, particular so the ID time, number is given to you in that yeah. lesson mm -hmm. oh. of that particular session you get. That's how they take attendance. So there is no. So you know what some people do? It. Some people just come. Yeah. They sit in class and wait for like for her to show that session the number. number they, then they, they get that. Yeah. Then they get out. They, they don't care about whether they get that three points. Oh, yeah, because if just, it's correct, you get three points. And if, if it's, it's wrong, wrong, you get two points. points. You get so, so the difference. One. Like if you're looking at. Yeah. yeah, two points or zero points. Like, yeah, yeah. Like it's, it's two points, right? Right? And the one uh -huh. point was neglected. Man. Like it depends on the, how the professor grades you, but that, that's yeah. how they take attendance. So, mm. like, ultimately, but if first, you don't I think, exist, I think for us it's about the same. They also have the same thing. Mm -hmm. But actually, because I, China, it's actually, it depends. My institution, luckily, the, okay, they have grading the system apparently, mm -hmm. but uh, some mm -hmm. schools have biometrics. Mm -hmm. Like Why every time you enter like class, you fingerprint. I'm trying to do that yeah. in Macquarie Medical yeah. School. Was it pharmacy? Yes, pharmacy. Mm -hmm. My yeah. friend is doing pharmacy, and them. they have to actually. Yeah, so you, yes. you put in your biometrics and you sign in for class. Then there are also some lectures up for the that point system. But now mm -hmm. for us, the problem is they use the switcher thing, mm -hmm. and it uses uh, your GPS location. So if your phone is not, not close to that class, like within a range of like 10 meters <laughs> of that class, it, it won't allow you to send in even though you have like a code yes, for that class. I see. Yes. 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 So it don't, it don't, it don't count. I think about it, everything I feel like comes from China, so yes. they can definitely make an app like that. <laughs> I so, mean, I'm here in Nigeria and I'm going to jump yeah, and then fail it to no, Yo, so it, it happens that some lecturers it will ask you like oh could allow location services so those days i used to refuse the location oh, services to try and sabotage the system but yes. then they made it mandatory now for you to actually sign in you Which have to VPN. put you're using vpn you still can talk <laughs> how can you be in class and you're in the states <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> it doesn't work so it's, it's just being harmful and leave I'll, I'll be honest like mornings when you're late it's literally get a bike and you're yeah. An e-bike or cycling, you cycle to class. Then in the elevator, you're yeah, trying to log in, log in, because <laughs> the thing will last like they should mm. log in for like thirty seconds for people to yeah. sign into the class. Yeah. So it, sometimes you wait. Then if you come late, then she's like, since you came late, anyone who writes like yeah. uh, on a paper, yeah, then their your attendance scores are. <laughs> Trust me, reduced. So it's a, it's a very interesting. Place. And the exams, how are how the exam system? How do you do they invigilate your exams? Um, or there is an app in China. Everything is an they, app. They do. Let me see. Yeah. And are they harder or easier? Because there was that thing that actually Ugandan examinations are really hard. I think that thing was is only when it comes to we do too much writing, too much MSI writing, especially like remember how in form four, yeah, they would ask in history, I type CRE, those things of like I don't know, know just big essay, words yeah. like it doesn't, I don't know. But anyways, um, I think maybe the exam thing. Okay, let me give you an example. My economics class, right? like when I switched schools and was going to Georgia Tech, my advisor at the time for transfer students, she's the one who made the schedule. So she put me in this economics class and it was also fulfilling the requirements. So there were really like maybe other 12, 15 classes I would have picked from. But because I was new to the school, like I didn't know, I was like, okay, well, I, got, I think I have to take economics. That class was easy in class, but when it came to the exam, it was one of those classes where it was like, a, this is what's going to happen to your economy. B, yeah. this is what's going to happen to your economy. C, A and B like may be right. <laughs> but A is I more correct. <laughs> like, I hate those things. Hate those classes, those exams would make me feel so dumb. And like, they would have like 75 questions. So your brain power keeps on reducing. By the time you reach 75, you're just like, my hand is just below. I'm tired. Let's go. But yeah, it's it's the same thing. We have individuals. Maybe for... um. Math classes. Mm -hmm. I remember my linear algebra class. 
my differential equations class and mm. my thermodynamics class, we were allowed to make our own crib sheets, which are a type of formulas that you think you might need. What? I know. You know, I was in form 6 oh, when you guys In form 6, we only God. had acceleration. You yeah, show you G equals to 10, man. I was like, yeah, we know that, but like, tell me other things. <laughs> yes. right, relevant things. And you right? know how, like, in university physics, they're like, a thousand Formula. velocity yeah. formula yeah. like in high school new velocity is this velocity yeah here is every every scientist had their own formula the earth is this the mars is this and it's like See the position. and you're supposed to know all of them and yeah, we don't yeah. actually get to move in with our formula exactly. so, so you can to go there no my brother tells me different and he's a champion <laughs> i don't know how Stop he does it <laughs> Intrigued, you are supposed to know that. I had to remember like square. 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 Yeah. Square. 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 Yeah. Square. Square. when I was in calculus at my in my was it second year or third? I think second year. I saw kids making crib sheets that had science square, and I was like, man, that's what I went to Uganda. These yeah. things are already like programmed in my Maybe. in my brain. <laughs> but like, yeah, we're allowed to make our own crib sheets so my people can write the formulas. Like, like, you'll find someone. There is no white. In yeah. their cream sheet. <laughs> if you have formulas, you're literally you done, done with the exam. Yeah, you like are. you're done with the exam. No, but sometimes okay. it depends on who's who's setting the exam. Because there's a time like in there's a specific class, um, it was like the interest conventional class. So the first thing I like, nailed it down. Like, yeah, they they showed the class average was like seventy eight, and I had an eighty eight. I was like, Ooh, up yeah, there. <laughs> Second exam, the person who who says this exam was different, and then it turned out the exam had an error. It was one of those things where he goes behind corners. It's like if a factory needs to move this number of things, and then he like it's too much unnecessary info that by the time you, you the question the comes back. Just, okay, yeah. Your brain has already like, like and an exam. Let me tell you something. This man, eh? like, I'll never forget how many how many people actually change their major because of that. <laughs> I'm telling you. When someone makes you chill out, now you know they're You're just like, if this is <laughs> intro too, then what yes. is actual life? Ah, uh, and so. by, and you had to study in a different language. Did yeah, you, did no. You have, did you well, have to? Not really, but uh -huh. okay. My the way my. Okay, according to what the university gave us, they say okay. the first two years are going to be totally in English, then the next two years will be English and Chinese, then mm -hmm. the last two years are in Chinese. But that's not really how it flows, it's sort of different. Mm -hmm. So for me, we do study Chinese. Actually, I think this last semester was my last one uh, studying Chinese. So after that, I have to sit, there's like a proficiency test. A national proficiency test mm. so as uh, doctors who are training in china they expect you to stop on it's called hsk mm. after each hsk level four which is like an inter the level of like uh the same english of p5 child which is speaking mm. yeah then but now they are saying don't change that to hsk5 i don't know how far that will go and then yeah so it's not really too difficult when it mm. comes to the exams for us it's it's really dependent on the lecturer, but I personally mm. think I think the exams are not as difficult as the Ugandan ones. So, cause I I'm not yet sure where I want to practice, mm. I usually do self my own self assessment test. So let me say, uh, what? Yeah. So I'll, I'll get on top for, of that school assessment. Yeah. No, I'm honestly never scared about the school exams. They're not too. Like yeah. So <laughs> so I get like. <laughs> work from like Ugandan, my Ugandan people, my friends who I left here and then That's also so the US MLE yeah, because I wanted yeah. to uh, do my residence in the US hopefully mm. so I have to get their questions and you know just yeah. uh, test myself see how good I'm at and yeah but the exams some, are, some can be dodgy but because they give a lot of priority to uh, these things of attendance and mm. tests so you find that you usually you can go into an exam and all you need to do is get like uh, 50, 60 in the exam percent and then you will be over the line. But yeah, many people still fail to do that. I don't know how. But So wait, you know, because most people who have studied in China <clears throat> do that mandatory one, one year. year. Yeah. So you didn't do that? No, I didn't do that because usually that program applies to people who are going to do their major in Chinese. Mm. 
Mm. Like if you find someone is going to do medicine in Chinese, Chinese throughout the year, year. So they'll spend the first year doing Chinese. The semester, the first semester, they will study what they'll call like general Chinese, how to learn Chinese to ask for food, toilets, whatnot. Then the second semester, depending on now the course you're going in for, if you want to go in for engineering, they will not teach you uh, engineering Chinese, like Chinese in engineering, basically. If you're going for medicine, they'll get biology and chemistry, mm. then they teach it to you in Chinese. So yeah. then those guys, you usually on scholarship. It's rare yeah. to find. Oh. Most, yeah, most people who do that, they're... Oh yeah, the scholarship the Chinese government pays, so it expects you to learn more. I think about that applies culture. for Germany too. There are many yeah. scholarships, but you have to you learn, learn the German. language, yeah. then like a foundation course, then actually do their program. Exactly. The so yeah. that's how it rolls. Ah, okay, that was it for today for this week. So catch us next week as we dive into another topic. Stay excited. See you there.